250 cars and 50 teams are going to compete for domination in Junkyard Joust Season 4. Hi everybody, I'm Aaron Yonda. To start this season off, I figured we'd take a look at all of the teams just so you can see who's competing this time around. Stay tuned until the end if you want to help me name one of the teams and also to find out what new cars are going to be on the top three teams from last season. Starting us off, it's prototypical. This team has a lot of undercutting potential and could be a menace this season. You'll notice a temporary graphic for the team names. The logos aren't done for all the teams yet. Another team this season is Turtle Power. I think you'll find this team familiar. If you're a fan of TMNT, you've got the four mutant turtles and one regular turtle. Next up, it's a team of all buses, of course, called the Infernal Buses. Should be an interesting team to watch. Looks like one of the buses is backwards for some reason. Next up is Prism Break. This team has low centers of gravity, and they are clearly going to be an interesting team to watch. Distinguished Competition is a team made up of DC characters. Distinguished competition is what Stan Lee used to refer to DC as jokingly. And here's the team you've all been waiting for, Camino Rampage, a team of all El Caminos. We've got Hot Wheels, we've got Green Light, and we've got Johnny Lightning. Speaking of a variety of brands, Alt F40 features five different brands of F40s. We've got a Matchbox, a Majorette, a CQ, a Hot Wheels, and a Mystery Brand. Another new team is the Alabaster Aces. This team features a lot of variety. Should be interesting to see them in action. Here are the Sunshades, a team of vehicles with reflective windshield protection. Interesting variety of cars on this team. The long-awaited He-Man team is here, Masters of the Universe. Evil and good, teaming up together to take on Junkyard Joust. Here's a team of Rabble Rousers. They're the Miscreants. Definitely going to be interesting to see these guys in action. Semi-trucks with agility? I guess we'll see. It's the Flying Rigs, another new team for Season 4. This team's got some serious power. They're called Hired Muscle. Look at the size of those engines. If you were ever a fan of Garbage Pail Kids, you're gonna love GPK, a Garbage Pail Kids themed team. We got a team of Roadsters, then it makes sense to call them the Road Stars. This team's ready to burn through the qualifiers. Here's a team of old school pickup trucks, appropriately called Truculent. Gonna be hard to get these guys off the track. It even looks like that end truck is gonna be camping on the track. Here's a brand new team of Marvel themed cars called Multiverse Motors. See if you can guess which superheroes they are. Here's a team that a fan sent in. It's called Cartoon Smash. Featuring mostly Scooby-Doo cars, but also a couple other cartoon-based cars. And now we're getting into teams you might remember from previous seasons. Shining Steel are oranging it up this season with a new lineup. Carts and Crappers are back. This time looks like they've abandoned the Crappers part of their team and have all carts. Maybe that'll be a recipe for success for them. Yellow Hammer have been around for a couple seasons and they've got a brand new lineup this season with Wall E there in the middle. Thunderlords have taken a different tack for their team this season. They've abandoned Thor and his hero friends to create this team of low to the ground vehicles. Here's a team that's been around for a while. They come back every year with a new lineup. It's Crimson Crashers. And look who's back, it's Solaire in the middle. And over on the right, the secret weapon that was inside Fleet Flyer is taking part. Propulsion did all right last season. They're back with a brand new lineup this season and they're also oranging it up a little bit. A lot of undercutting potential here. Mr. Maroon has taken on a distressed look this season. These cars are battered and bruised 
but they're also veterans, so they know their way around the track. The Combustion Kings are looking pretty fiery this season. They've got some interesting variety this time. Jet Threat is back with a brand new lineup for Jet Streak. These are some of the lowest flying cars on the track. Should be interesting to see how they do. Cruella DeVille is making a return with Amaranthin, and she's brought a whole legion of new troops. Looks like she's got an undercutting theme this season. The Rod Warriors did pretty good last season. Slider is back with four new rods. This is going to be a fun team. The big boys are back in town. Massive Transit returns with a new lineup of big trucks. Triple Threat makes a return appearance for the Copperheads along with four new copper-themed vehicles. Wiener Magic is back this time with a silver wiener and four other chromed-up cars. The theme for Space Invaders this year is more invading space as opposed to being invaded. And that NASA truck, hmm, that looks a little iffy with that rocket. The heaviest vehicles on the track this season are going to be on the War Pigs team. We've got some up in the range of 150 grams. This is not going to be a team you want to mess with. Industrial Accidents making a return. They've got a new group of industrial themed vehicles, including a steamroller. There's a lot of Batmobiles out there, and Batmobility is back again with five of them, one of them returning from the previous team. Some classic Fords and Chevys on the Jousting Jalopies team this season. These cars are pretty good at staying on the track. We haven't seen the Neon Nashers for a while, but wow, this is their brightest team so far. Doesn't get more neon than this. The Bubble Bursters were a fun team to watch, and they've got a brand new lineup of extra bubbly cars. Gonna be fun to watch these in action. Blitzkrieg didn't do so well last season, but they're back to give it another go, this time with more of a rust and blue themed team. Tool Time is back. Wait a minute, is that Tim? And what is that thing he's in? Well, stay tuned to season four. I assume we'll find out what is going on here. Emerald Undercurrent got third place in the finals last season. They're back for the main event this season with that one new member on the right-hand side. And here's a closer look. Legionary came so close to the gold. Second place, and they've got a new member as well. A lot of people said Hammered Coop needed some help. Hopefully this new vehicle is going to do the trick. And our champs from last season, the Indigo Ice Picks. A lot of teamwork on this team, but they did decide to draft one new car. And I'm looking forward to seeing how it performs in the main event. So here's where I need your help. I don't have a name for this team. I'd love to hear your suggestions in the comments. You've got a penguin duck. You've got a duck boat. You've got a Donald duck. You've got Daffy Duck and another Donald Duck. Here's a closer look at all the cards just so you can see what's going on. What should I call this team? If I choose your answer, you will get to sponsor one of the vehicles on this team. Junkyard Joust patrons are helping me name a couple of these other teams. This one is a shark themed team. If you have an idea for this, please become a patron and you can help me name it. And there's lots of car sponsorships available this season, so if you wanted to sponsor a car, now's your chance. The more patrons I have, the more sets I can build, and the more cars I can buy. I hope you enjoyed this look at all 250 of this season's competitors. Qualifiers should begin next week. Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And if you know somebody who you think might be interested to see all these different cars that I've collected for this season, share the video with them. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time on Junkyard Joust.